Do I still want to be a pharmacist? I guess I still want to be a pharmacist. Do I still want to be an archer? Sure. One of these days I'll get one of these archers going, surely. Okay, so I can't get that loot, unfortunately, because I don't have, uh... Oh, can I? This is digger, wasn't it? Hold up. I guess I can get this loot. Well, that's kind of nice. Excellent. It was just like a ring of fire or something, but it's still something I can put on when I need some fire protection. But my most successful characters today kind of died because they didn't have any fire uh, protection. And they got blown up by some willow in the wisp in the swamp. Um, I think get the poison dart? I mean, maybe. I don't know, the poison darts are okay, but I'm not a huge fan of them with archers. Wait, is that even poison? Yeah, yeah, it is poison. I really love the Curari ones, so those are good. ones are kind of nice. Alright, well, first of all, the dungeon. Got lots of XP, that was good. I need more of those little walled off rooms that I can get dragged around because being a pharmacist, it feels really nice having some special rooms just for me to open up. But I guess anyone in Passport can technically get the stuff, but... <laughs> hey. Oh, water? I can't swim? I'm an ant! Oh, my God. Can ants swim in real life? Probably not. I don't know. I've never seen an ant swimming. Maybe some ants can. Some ants might be small enough to just, like, walk on water. I'm not sure. Probably not. I think early game they're strong, the poison darts. Yeah, because I guess lots of things are going to take a lot of damage early on. Why did that robe not? I don't want to explore not with the robe. I don't know. It's a... Oh, regen covered this hub. Um... Yes. I definitely want some regen. I'll take this robe. Hopefully that's going to help. Alright, well, um, I guess I can put on some strats. I don't think it actually does anything until I get a shield, though. Which could be a little while with this character. We'll see. But getting a shield early on could be kind of nice on a form set. Although you do have to get a bit of skill to get it usable, but still. Alright, can't use the slag. I'm done with the second level of the dungeon. That's why I want to dig into some of these rooms. Because apparently you can't just dig into them. I don't think they really had this again there. Maybe one of them had like cobalt or something. Do I care about a plus six spear of resist electric and flaming? Probably not. It's unfortunately not a ranged sort of throwing spear or something. Oh no, not grinder. What's her chance of paralyzing me? It's gotta be 50%. Oh mute, that's right. But it's, she's still got pain of 70%. Um, probably pretty easy to run away from her because you can't get me with the whole paralysis thing, which is what she usually does to stop you running away. Why do I scroll? Pick up, okay. I love how easy it is just to uh, drop all the potions and scrolls because I uh, can like select an entire category. Ooh, plus two bucks, that's good. Because I think like the scrolls are either question mark or exclamation mark and potions are the other one. So dropping both of them might go really easy. Alright, I need some shield value. They got a plus three out unit, so it shouldn't take too long to get like five or something. Uh... No, this little buckler is going to be a big help. It gives me six shield value with no skill, but that's like... Get skill that should get better. Hey, seven uh, shield value just by getting one skill. Alright, ooh, protection ring is nice. Those are always really good. Oh. Ah. Uh, that's a wyvern. Is that a... That's a big problem, isn't it? I might have to give up with the idea of doing this without wands, I think. Um, and just paralyze this guy.
All right, what's uh, another way down? I should be able to kill the slime creature, oh, baby. That'd quite put me as far as I'd like with the tall staircase, but that's fine. All right, what's another way down? Oh, uh, doesn't take me that far. All right, if I just fight these, like, uh, Lemures one at a time, and then eventually I should get onto Pykele, this Pykele. Uh, yeah, I guess any other one of these tank is as good as any other one. All right, so he's got Freezing. Did I get a call for this? He's also got a Wand of Light, which I don't really like. I might blind him before he blinds me. No. Um, I might try to zap him with some roots. Then try and blind him some more. There we go. When do I get the... I might just get like three evocations or something. Because I do have some pretty decent ones on this character. Oh. Um, is that the entire level? I mean, I got all three up staircases, all three down staircases, right? So, yeah. I guess it is. Wasn't well, expecting the entire level to fit on one screen, but okay. Oh, I'll still bring both these guys with me. Alright. What does this ghost up to? It's, uh... Like... Kaon's ghost. They're a demigod ice elementalist, but they don't have spells. They have like 50 health and they do 7 damage. Hmm. I don't think they're too bad. Oh, it's an ogre. Wait, ghosts? I thought ghosts climbed staircases. That one didn't. Uh. I think they can. It probably just, uh, didn't have the turds or something. Uh oh. I better blind this guy with some light. Oh, that failed. I'll bring it upstairs. Okay, I'll get it with roots first, and then I'll blind it with some light. There we go. Go over the wooden moccasin. I don't even know where the ghost went. Uh, don't think it was guarding too much. Just a little bit of money or something. Lots of things around here, but they're not noticing me, and then they're just wandering out of view, which makes it really hard to kill them. Uh oh. I thought the ogre would get next to me. I do have the wand of light. Hey! Hey, it's the temple. Okay, so I was gonna grab like a Levelon or something. Um. Levelon? Is that a Levelon? There we go. And then I was gonna switch to Jiva later on. Hopefully, this works. And that could be a regenerating ad or something. Alright, keep the decks going, I think is the idea with this character. That's a uh, Lycan's ghost. But they didn't really do any damage, because for some reason they didn't keep any of their spells. Definitely makes them a lot easier to do, unless they actually, like, decided not to go magic. I mean, that's... No, you still want... They're still with their first level spells. Sometimes the ghosts just don't get spells for some reason. I don't know why. I wonder what god they did get. Oh, pretty much everyone apart from Zob and Rue. That's fine. And I don't think uh, Zom would be the right god for this challenge. Like, sure, you might get some good mutations, or you might get some bad ones, some really bad ones, even. This all just scorpions and bats. I think it's some sort of bat cave in here. I guess there's, uh, there's other things as well. Okay, maybe just a sort of general cave. Wait, is this like the Forgotten Forge one with a pile of useless weapons? Or the minus three evening star is not the worst thing in the world if you're trying to do massive flails. 
Like, sure, need a lot of enchanting to get it useful, but... It's actually not a bad base weapon at all. Now that this character can enchant nothing up, um... Let's say a god ability lets them enchant or something, because they're not going to be using scrolls. Uh, hold on, the Cloak of Stealth is uh, better than what I've got. I don't think I've got any Cloak. Does this character get Crazy Youth, or is that a different character? I got a D3 Grinder, but I think that was a different character that could Crazy Youth. Uh oh. Gotta step back, but I don't think I have a Poison Resist, which could be a problem. Can do a Purification to get rid of Poison. Uh, to something, at least. Oh, the bees just died? Okay. Or well, maybe they're not as bad as I thought, after all. What is this other guy? Is this a scorpion with it? Oh, it's just sort of like random assortment of things. Sky beasts. I thought it might be some sort of special vault or something. With a bunch of scorpions, maybe. But no. That's all right. That okay. They do usually do fight against ogres, but I don't know if ones and back up if I need to use them. That's one of the few consumables this character is using. It's not a wand, it's not a scroll, not a potion, not a scroll. It's a rod battle from a Bailey. I'll see if I can find a Bailey. Um. Oh, I got a reflection helmet. Sure, I'll take that. Gives me plenty of shield just for like a tiny little buckler. Hey, there we go. This is a Bailey. Where it's fairly recognizable, like the water around the, the walls. It's got to find the front entrance now. Um, There we go. There's the front entrance. Alright, I've almost certainly go with inventory. Let's just go in and see what we've got. So we've got some water. Oh, the polar one. Uh Hmm. So I don't know if some spriggins in. I mean the ogre seem fine. Just a bit worried, all that guy's got dual halberds, okay. Ooh, was that a mistake letting it get that close? No, it wasn't. Might have to be using like some roots on some of these guys though. Man, it's staying just outside of sight. Alright. Yeah, we're certainly gonna have to root this guy up. And then gonna blast it with some light. There we go. This guy's gonna catch up to me, but that's probably fine. At least I'm regenerating getting some of my health back. Uh, this is probably another target for the roots, unfortunately. Being a spring at all. What's an acid dragon doing here? So what's that? Welcome back to Dungeon Cruel Stone Soup, everyone. So I'm continuing the run I've got here, and there's a no potions, no scrolls run. They go play with the forms because they don't benefit as quite as much from those. Looked to be some sort of archer, and I believe the plan was to go Jeeva with this character. Um, unless I'm wrong, but I believe that was the case. Ooh. Do I want to stay here? Kinda. I'll just shoot this archer back, I think. Yeah, this looks like it's going just fine. Although, I'm not looking like look at that Komodo dragon the most. Um, what is it? Oh. Actually, it's dying pretty quick. <laughs> no, it's actually completely fine. Don't need to worry about it at all. There's so many Oog bows around here. Okay, another Komodo dragon. Let's back it up a bit so I get a clear shot of it with all the plants in the way. Uh, okay, I can back up from the elephant a bit. 
Yep, that looks good. There's a the lair there, but I... Oh, do you want to go a little bit deeper before I do the lair? Um... Do I have a net? What else can I do with this two-handed ogre? I can paralyze it. 40%? Not the best. I'm still gonna give it a try. Oh, come on. Oh, man. 40% chances. Hey, it got it in the end. I don't know. It probably would be quicker just to kill the guy. Yeah, this is definitely the problem with something like 40% chance. Although, to be fair, attacking it is also just as a chance to head, so that's not guaranteed either. Alright. Get this last white. That doesn't seem too bad. So I got a little shield, and I could try for a bigger shield. Oh, hey, they're ugly thing. How do I resist anyway with this character? Uh, cold resist, okay. But I don't have any, like, poison resist. I could polymorph, but I'm not sure that would work that well. Can I paralyze it? Oh, 40%. I'm going to give it a try, but I... Mm, I got it. Wasn't 100% confident that that would work. All right, Novels, where are you? Um... It just ran off for some reason. All right. I guess that makes my life easier if they all just run away. Uh, is that a bigger shield of this dude? Because I'll definitely take his bigger shield as I can get. Yeah, that's a tower shield. Not a tower shield, a kite shield. Um, got ranged. How am I? Oh, no targets on those? Sure. Anyway, let's get some shield skill. Get that to like 15, I think. Hopefully that's not too much. We're going to put on this bigger shield. So I got 13 shield value. Yeah, let's give it a try. Pro okay, we're 50 now. Probably slower attacking, but oh, we'll see how this goes. Am I wearing a reflection or something? Yeah, that makes sense. I thought my shield value looked a bit high for someone that wasn't using reflection. At least for someone that's not massively skilled in the range just now. Okay, I got a good choke point. These death yanks, prob not death yanks, normal yanks, probably fine. If they're death yanks, it'd not be fine. Nah, this is completely fine. I can always retreat back to those tickets if I need to as well. Do I have regen or something? Oh, I do. I've got it on my armor. I've also got harm. Right. Uh, scale mail or poison resist? I'm not sure about that. I don't seem to have any poison resist. Could be a problem with these bees and stuff. Not all these Komodo dragons. I hope it's fine. All right, what have we got here? We've got a we've got a demonologist. Those ones could be bad because they love to summon in demons and stuff, but that doesn't seem too bad at all. Uh, well, the back is wired. Let's move back a little bit. Oh, okay, that's hard to hit. But I do have light, right? Please tell me it's so good. It's the one that summoned the, the guy there. So I'm shooting light because I gotta hit the guy in the back. There we go. Alright, I know there's another demonologist. There it is. The most important one to take out. Oh, no, that sun demon is absolutely cooking me. Oh, if I step back, oh, so Sun Demon is going to step. No, good. That's exactly what I wanted. The Demonologist to step in the front. Still going to have problems with these kobolds with their Curari dance. But I had one of my other attempts then to that. I do have a Leveland, so I've got to remember that I can do um, purification or whatever it's called. Get rid of the poison. I think these guys are all fine. My judge level 11, judge level 10. Alright, so it's a reasonably early Cyclops, but it's still not too bad. I think the one's helping this character out the most is having this big shield. Well, medium shield. And yeah, now I'm get, beginning to get a bit of skeleton as well that tends to help a bit. Uh, I'm going to head back to the staircase. I'm going to just bring one of these guys up. It's probably fine if I just fought the very boss, but I'll bring them up one at a time. Definitely makes any fight easier when you've only got one guy to worry about. Especially when you've got a shield, because the shields get less effective the more things they block in the single turn. How's the bees again? Mm. I can, if I get two badly points, I can purify it, at least. 
All right, dirt level 10. I might do dirt level 11, then go to the lair, I guess. That the, that's the cold job, the, the rig of protection from cold. What are my rigs? Strength, which isn't that useful. Protection. Might put on the protection from cold, but that's one of the resists I already have. Uh, I didn't lose any, um, Vader or anything. Spite my shield using a bit of strength. So we got, uh, ignition, volatile blast mode, scorch. Starburst, ignition again, fox fight, volatile blast modes again. Right, all the fire spells, makes sense. Uh, there's also this wand of immolation, not wand, scroll of immolation. I might go buy that one. Oh, come on, Yak. <laughs> yeah, dancing around, I don't think I had that much stealth, but... Uh, I just pop this wall. Oh, took a little bit more than I thought it would. But the draining should recover, no problems to this. Vampire is fine. The problem with the vampires is they have confusion. I don't know how much willpower, if not that much. Which could be a problem, definitely, with this character. Yeah, see invisible. Doesn't matter, got a 10 eh? Yeah, like that guy go invisible start. Oh, I got me with the confusion. Can I? Oh, a purification. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think this is going okay. I forgot about that. Yeah, that gets, that's one of the few, well, maybe the only god ability. Oh, uh, wait, should I really be fighting a skilled warrior? Do I have a choice? Hold on, I don't think I should. Uh. Alright, I might just go to the lair, I think, because, yeah, skilled warriors are quite tough. Okay, plus two gloves. What are mine? Do I even have gloves? I don't think I do. Alright, well that's nice. I'll put those ones on. I can drop some of my old stuff. So I'm wearing cloak and stealth. I can drop the old cloak. I can drop the old buckler. I can drop the old leather armor. I drop the old short bow. I might drop the pot of the darts. I got the curari ones. Because I was using like darts and I was using... Uh, wands on this character. It's just the potions and scrolls that I'm not using. This is not working. Can I pacify this guy? Oh, it's not interested. I blind him with some light. Uh, might just try blinding with some light again. There we go. I was not doing much with my wand, unfortunately. Not my wand, my bow, unfortunately. No, that felt suboptimal. Um, okay, the shields are doing well, so let's turn range back on. Also get some invocations to try for eight, see if that makes a difference, because I know beasts are reasonably easy to pacify. So maybe get that working. Um, I better get a choke point. Well, dig a choke point. Tom's Dale's fine. I'm a Fobsted after all, so I can't be slowed. Yeah, that was perfectly fine after digging that choke point for myself. That's a good thing about the lair, like it does have a lot of natural choke points, but digging them is not too bad. Uh oh. I can get rid of the petrification with the purification, right? Good. <laughs> I don't want to petrify near a hydra, that would be bad. Um... I just gotta dig myself into a choke point. I hope this is fine. Hydra's getting quite kind of close. Um, I might try to blind it with a bit of light. Oh, uh, that's fine. I think. I'll have to cancel the petrification, though, with the purification. Nice if I can hit this Hydra. It's an 80% chance that. Okay, I should get it eventually. There we go. Uh, those frogs are probably fine. If I need to, I can dig into this wall. I don't think I will, though. The frogs are completely fine. They usually are for archers. You could usually, well, shoot them as they just blink all over the place. What are these? I gotta pop the wall. Oh, it's a hydro. Maybe that was just my plan after all. Um, it's not easy for me to get to the staircase up. Okay. Um... Why does the Hydra be interested in being pacified? 
27%. I might give it a try. Well, I've got a relatively harmless guy next to me. There we go. And I should head on over to a staircase soon. Oh, it took his escape patch. Okay. Well, that works, I guess. Let me go downstairs. I didn't realize that pass by thing took escape patches because I knew they went to the normal staircases. Um. Okay. Six headed hydra. I might try back up from this little bit. Just uh, go down another staircase. I don't really want it that close to me. If I try to shoot it down, or even if I try to pacify it, I kind of want a few chances before it gets up to me. Now call it Leveland. Oh, for Divide Vigor again, sure. I could do that before, but then, um... I guess I used some god abilities, like my pacifier, the Hydra. Now try to shoot down the Hydra. Hey, there we go. You know, I've got plenty of space between me and the Hydra, it's not too bad. Okay. Gotta watch my poison level, but I think these guys are dying just fine. Because I know those uh, black mammoths can be kind of bad. Um, okay. Hey, there we go. Now the hydra dead. Oh, plants in the way. I might just... Oh, come on. I just want to get rid of the tall. Oh, so many of these guys. They wanted their chance of petrifying like 30% right. So there's two of them doing it against me. Yeah, there's going to be a quite good chance of them actually succeeding. I got the boots. Um... Uh, hold on. No potions or scrolls for this character, so... Why am I carrying around a scroll? Apparently it's on auto pickup as well. Did I... How did they even get identified? Because the butterflies was my starter one. Does there have vaults that place like a Noah emulation scroll or something? Because I know sometimes vaults do place... Items that uh, let you know what they are immediately. Like, uh, that's usually the case with Acquirement and some of the Baileys. Is that also the case for Immolation? Or did I? Oh, I know what happened. I bought it from a shop without thinking. No, I actually, no, I remember doing that. <laughs> Which was a little bit silly. Um, ow. This is sort of working. No, because I'm so used to, like, when I see a good scroll of potion in a shop, I'm so used to just snatching it up immediately. Because <laughs> that is the right thing to do, generally. Because it gets them identified as well, which is really nice, generally. Alright, well, let's go downstairs. Press of heat. Isn't that the one I don't have a resist to? Oh, wait, I'm going to bring fire. I can make that work. I don't like how close the Sky Shark is, actually. Um... Like a few turns to shoot at it, because as a form says, I do have blood. That's both my staircases. All right. I do have regen, which is going to help me get to this uh, volcano in time. Wait, did that say where it was? Slow rubble with very distant avalanche rocks. Okay, so not here. Um, that's basically all it told me. We'll grab the water flame, because I am using wands. So I think I gotta, I gotta use the wands when I'm not using the potions and scrolls. I think they have saved this character a number of times. Still very distant. It's probably down the bottom of the map or something, but I'll try the, um... Try the left of the map first. Ah, okay. I didn't really get that far left, but yeah, I think going down is the sort of right thing to do right now. Uh, taking some guys in here. Is this so? Oh, I know that is. That's the swamp, isn't it? Um, I might just leave those guys for now and just go around the other way. But unfortunately, I'm still like very distant from this avalanche. I it's just distant now. To going down has helped, but I don't think going to the left helped. Oh, that's dead end, isn't it? Oh, it's almost certainly a dead end through there as well. Alright. 
I mean, I will look down here, but yeah, it's dead, and I thought it might be. How far away is it? It's still distant. I mean, it might be through here. Let's say it's not a dead end at least. Good, it is through here. And of course, I'm on the wrong side. Um, hold up, wrong rig, wrong rig. Let's put it on the potential for fire. Well, the fire rig of fire, whatever it is. Is that diggable? Okay, good. Um, lots of inventory space, of course, because I got no bunch of those scrolls, so... Uh... What's the layout of this? Because I can detect the creatures already. Oh, there's the fire bats. Makes sense. It's probably one of the ones that has an area off the... Uh... No, it could be one of the ones that has either an area in the center or an area off the edge. And it's really hard to tell. Oh, there's something behind here. It's almost certainly off the edge then. Yeah, there we go. This is the area of the monsters. With one fire, just the Steve Drake is harmless, which is nice. What else have we got, though? Uh... Wait, so you got statues here? There's fire coming out? There's, like, statues that breathe fire to you or something, maybe? Ooh, is this alright? Oh, these guys are going to take any damage from the fire, are they? Hold up, I might just use a wand of light on these guys, because I'm not doing that much damage with my bow. Uh, I'll do another light. There we go. I want to back up a bit and try to get some health back, I think. But yeah, those statues are doing quite a bit to me. Oh, uh, speaking of statues... Wait, this one does- oh, mesmerize me. Oh, come on. And it's gonna summon the demons. Um, I don't think I can heal- no, I can't pet, uh, pacify it. Man, these walls are almost certainly not diggable. Um... That mesmerize is kind of unfortunate. I'm just gonna try shooting it, but... It's not doing as much damage as I'd like. At least that's just a tiny little bit. Okay, that was not bad at all, as it turned out. But it's probably more to do with what it summons, and then I'll think, ooh, Flaming Arbalist. You know what? Sure. 1.2 attack delay, 35 damage. That sounds alright. This is 22 damage, 0.8 attack delay. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Um. Alright. I think I'm done with this place. Like, that's not gonna lead anywhere, is it? I don't think so. Don't need the potions, let's get out of here. But this obelisk is not bad, because it's already branded, which I can't brand things because I can't read scrolls. Oh, I've got snake pits. Nice. Um, and it's plus three, which is okay, so this will keep me going till I get something better. Well, what does it mean? I do get something better? Uh... Wait, level 14? I'm only level 3 at the lab. I'm doing well with my level. Can't remember how fast um, forwards this level up, but this doesn't seem too bad at all. Oh, I should check if I have the application spell, because I was going to go Jeeva. I don't think I do, but it's a, it's a really nice spell when you go Jeeva, because sometimes you really want to just, like, appletate in some loot before jelly eats it or something. Uh, that's fine if I don't have it. Because it can be a little bit harder to get castable, especially when you've got, like, a decent-sized shield. Which, to be fair, I've already got, like, a... Uh, not a tower shield, the other one. Kite shield. Okay, let's let this frog make its way back out of there. I gotta get confused, aren't I? Why did I not get confused? I don't know, apparently the, the sob drinks clouds just failed for whatever reason. Hey, well, the scrolls of emulation they can't use. Uh, where's the snake going? It's probably getting confused because that water that it can't get through. Oh. Which, for some reason, creatures do get confused when you're shooting at them. Even though they can, like, walk around, they choose not to. Yeah, there's the emulation. This is still, like, 30% to hit me. 26% to hit me with this petrify. Alright. Well, somewhat going down for me leveling up. A 
That's about as far as they can get away from that shark. When you have a weapon that attacks reasonably slow like this one, um, it actually does kind of matter how good you are at hitting, because if you mess, you've spent quite a, quite a while, like 1.2 turns doing nothing. Alright, uh, 16 range is not bad, but I actually need 18 range now, because I got a weapon that needs has a higher mint delay. I might get to get a bit of fighting as well. Um, shields? Uh, I'll leave it, but I need to get some more of that soon. I don't want to get too much of the invocations because I'm going to switch to, uh, what's her name? Jiva, which doesn't use it. Hey, Wadaz, how's the run going? It's actually going well so far. We'll see how it continues to go though, because this is a no runes, no, not no runes, what am I saying? And no potions, no scrolls run. But no, so far this is going really great. Um... But I wouldn't say it's gone to the point where I'm feeling confident yet. Because I'm still reasonably early game here. One more level, and hopefully, hopefully this Jiva, because, oh, that's not what I want to see. This guy's trying to next to me. Bombs that are cool, yeah, they got to be. Oh, man, that's a lot of things. they got to be one of my favorite uh, advanced species. Oh, ow. Um, uh huh. Can I pacify one of these dudes? Will they accept? 60%. Okay. I'll try to shoot the other one. So that staircase is not good. There's tons of death yanks left around. There was an unexplored staircase. That's better. I can't shove myself on this floor. That's hopefully going to be fine. Uh, oh, you feel like animals would be more likely to accept? Yeah, I think so. I think the intelligent creatures are, like, less likely to accept or something. I know that the beasts are really easy to pacify, usually, but you still do need, like, some skill. I haven't got that much skill. Um, I do remember things like ogres being pretty hard to pacify early on. Uh... Oh, compared to a spawn straight from hell, yeah, trying to pacify something from hell definitely does not sound easy. Can you actually pacify something from hell? I'm not sure the exact rules on that. I haven't played many Elevelin games. Um, and this one doesn't plan on sticking with Elevelin. I'm just using Elevelin to go through the lair here. And they've actually been really useful because, um... Their ability to... Purify myself and get rid of confusion and save me. Oh wait, is that the right one? Oh, that's alright. Oh, it's got a it's got a berserk up. Can I just like polymorph this dude? Oh, 40%. Uh it might accept some oh wait, no, maybe 60% of pacify? Hey, there we go. That's good. Before a berserk, because I don't think you wait, can you pacify with this berserk? I'm not sure. Also, the mean lands. Heavily has some mean staircases. With, like death yanks and stuff. Okay, bring one of the death yanks upstairs. I think the staircase is probably fine by now. Okay, back to the staircase. Bring up the death yank. And there's another death yank, but I think I'm running out of those death yanks now. This weapon does the trick is, but I definitely want dags. But I want just dags for this character thing. But it's a little low, but like, it'll be fine. I don't plan to do more than three runes. Oh, is that a gog? I gotta use a gog. Is that a terrible plan? Probably, but I gotta use it. Okay. My base is not very good anymore. But I do have some shield value. Um, man, this is yeah. I don't know. As a pharmacist, this is much. This is mildly questionable, but it's also really protective. I feel like at this point in the game, it's really worthwhile. But eventually, I just want to just swap to a tower shield. Um, oh, it's perfect for digging, right? Because you can dig through a wall, and then attract everything along while you're hiding in the wall. Does that make sense? Um, it's also perfect with this trees around. Oh, hey there, Hydra.
Yeah, like this sort of situation where I'm just hiding in the wall and fighting everything. And I've got a bit of regen as well, which is kind of nice. So that's um, keeping me healthy. Wow, there's a lot of creatures in there. Hey, hey, Slipers. Oh, no. Where's my Jeeva altar? Oh, I didn't get a Jeeva altar this time around. Man. Come on, game. Okay, so Jeeva seems to be not an option. Hmm, I can stick to a level and expose. Uh, I don't know at this point. Um, I mean, obviously you could go all the way to slide 5 and get the Jeeva uh, roller there, but... Um, that's not exactly an easy task. How's oh, that large? No, it's just a. No, oh, it is a large abomination. I'm glad it didn't get up to me because those was gonna hit reasonably hard. Um. I mean, in theory, I could swap to I don't know any other good god if I wanted to, but uh, I think a level is not too bad. All right, what have we got? We've got a ring of ice again, but I feel like Cobra is something I do really well with. Dude's got a hub, spirit guardian, poison resist, um, amulet. Poison resist, nice, but... I don't know. The other properties are not that good, and my reflection's pretty nice with this big shield. Oh, uh... I won't get slowed, and I can cure up the poison if I need to. Uh, I might purify a bit of this. Oh, it was still standing in the... Still standing in the stuff, so purify didn't work quite as well. The god Legato, if I wanted to become a Legato character. I don't think a Levela would be so happy if I decided to become a Legato character, right? I'm pretty sure that would, uh, wouldn't be happy. Uh, wait, can I just spot inside? Wait, what thing? Oh, the, the slime, um, like, literally just inside. I don't think so, no. I think there's a, I think the altar either appears outside... Or if, um, there's always one on like the first level though of the of here, but I don't think you ever get one just inside. Unfortunately, oh well. Let's go to dungeon. I think I didn't finish dungeon eleven because of a skeleton warrior or something. But I should be fine to deal with those ones now. Well, probably. Rage is where it needs to be. Fighting still go okay. Shields probably could go up to like 20 or something. Um, I got her at some stage to think about what sort of title I want to get with this character. I'm not, uh, not 100% sure of that just yet. Something that's easier to go with, which, um... I don't know, maybe a Leveland title? But seeing I didn't find Jeeva, I can totally just go get myself some more evocations as well. Or invocations, I mean. Um, so I can actually pacify people a bit more effectively. I do have a cloak. I've got a cloak of stealth, right? Oh yeah, it's gonna worry the way easier now. In fact, the uh, fact that I've got a weapon that hits really hard helps get through their armor class, which I think they've got quite a bit of from their. Oh, what do they have? Bony bones or something? I guess it, are they wearing armor? I don't think so. I think they're just really bony. I guess I'll open this door. Oh, it's fine. Just yanks. Just worried. It's always worried, like, walking straight up to creatures. What else can I do? I can do the Divine Vigor. I better remember about that. Um, I seem to be remember the Pacify being the main and level and thing. I'll try pacifying one of these dudes. Oh, man. I like that guy that just sits back and smites. Um, I'm going to have to try to hit it with a light one. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Hey, there we go. The rest of these beads should be absolutely fine, despite my lack of poison resist. It's just the melee that are problems, really. Oh, you barely noticed the vampire? Yeah, no, the vampire just kind of died. <laughs> no, that wasn't too bad. Uh, oh, right. Um, 
Let's turn the Ambrosia off, auto pick up. That's one of the areas, another one of the areas where it like starts the thing auto identified. I remember those used to have honey and then they had like royal jelly for a while. I don't know, there's been a lot of different things, a lot of different consumables that you find in the um beehive areas. I might as well just go to the Orcish Mines. Oh, okay. So this dude here that I'm worried about. All right, that's better. And they'll probably get some rounds again. Let's see. Um, yep, of course. That's fine. Again, I can just hit those guys down. This is where it's kind of nice having a gong where I'm really uh, faded with my shield. But they're kind of hoping for an arch rating here because that would be hilarious with a gong and an able to reflection. I'll see what I get. Might get an ogre ending, judging by that first level. But I don't know, I don't think there's any correlation between what you get on the first level once, um... Down on the, the second level. Oh, stop smiting me. I guess the smite doesn't target my shield here, so it's going to be fairly effective. I actually do the top staircase. Alright, you got to take, uh, up level first, uh, the level above is completely split up. Although, if I was willing to dig for a while, I could combine it back together. Uh... I'm gonna say this choke point as long as I can, but it doesn't look like too much is coming along. That's a good thing about forms since they can dig in the Orcish Mines, because I... Is the Orcish Mines always diggable? I feel like it is. Could be entirely wrong. Uh, ah, I got to pull them. Oops. I'm gonna have to drain my hit points a bit more to get myself at a proper choke point. Alright, there's, there's enough stuff. I mean, I'm glad I got a little choke point here. Come on. I know that guy's right around the corner. I don't know why it's not popping his head around. I should actually look at some of these obelisks. I think they're just basic ones so far, but there's a possibility that they might be okay. Uh, yeah, basic ones. All right. In fact, sometimes you get a hand cannon. Not that this character is after a hand cannon, but sometimes you do get a hand cannon off the arches in here. At least I've had it happen once before, anyway. Um... I had to drain myself a bit more, but I think it's worth it to get a proper choke point, especially with all these guys that can power. No, they can't paralyze. What am I talking about? I'm a pharmacist. Of course, they can't paralyze. Okay, so maybe I was too worried about the guys that can paralyze, but they're still kind of bad with their summons, so it still makes sense to get myself at a choke point. Oh, this makes, uh, does make you want to play a pharmacist. Yeah, I mean, pharmacists are, pharmacists are a lot of fun. So actually, I, I love the range from the sense. Um, oh, so a climate that I can't have. Another weapon chop, okay. Another potion chop, hey, jewelry chop, I can use that one for some, uh, at least. Uh, and for some reason, download Kenshi? What's Kenshi? I'm not familiar with that game. Oh, willpower might be alright. Slaying this fire in this way. Am I still wearing... I shouldn't be wearing that ring of fire, but I st am still wearing that ring of fire. Um, uh, I'll drop that old shield. It's not that good. I do need to get some poison resist at some stage. I okay. Actually, having a bit of fire resist would be decent. What are my rings right now? Potential and cold is not that good. Potential's all right. Okay, I'll get myself a potential of fire, I think. It's a very weird but good game with ant people too. Right. No, that makes sense that you want to play it. I should look that one up at some stage. See if it's a game that would interest me. Oh, what did I just do? 
I was writing a little note to go look it up and um uh, I think I accidentally closed some stuff and it opened. There we go, everything's sorted out again. Okay, so I bought the fire resist. Uh don't think I need any of those other things. There was one more up staircase. Here it is. It goes on sale, so I guess it's on Steam then. Yeah, it's kind of interesting with uh, Steam games. Like, you can kind of... If you have something sitting on your wish list for a while, you can kind of learn its pattern of going on sale. Hey, it's a fellow Fobson! Zigo Colors Ghost. A Fobson Monk of the Shining One. I wonder what they also ranged a lot. Um... I look kind of tough, actually. They were doing almost 40 damage. I don't think they actually got nothing I can use either. That's not wrong. I certainly can't use the scroll that's in there. I might exclude that place off. Well, so many priests. There was probably a congregation of priests in here, but then they would have heard the gong and all come running out, I'd imagine. Alright, so I'm just going to do some more dungeon. Uh, I had a model source of cold resist, so I might just put on some fire resist, right? Yeah, there we go. Fire resist, cold resist. I'm missing the poison resist, which is the problem, but apart from that, it's pretty good. Oh, it's pretty old to you to imagine it's going for $10 or less. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the like games don't tend to really have any sales when they're very new. But then once they get old, they did have a, lo a lot more sales as well on Steam. At least most of them do. Uh, well, the other, I mean, the other does do positive this, but it's also like Hub, Spirit Guardian. Oh, it's okay. I can use it if I need to. I really like my reflection one though. But yeah, I might have to put it on in the snake pits or something. Either that'll try to purify myself all the time, but it's not the most reliable way of dealing with poison. Because you can't like preemptively put it on or anything. And you don't have to spend your turns constantly curing it up, but it might be alright. Oh. That's a freezing race, it's okay, I certainly hope so. Oh yeah, it died, I think. For a stray shot, alright. I gotta check for shields again. That guy never shielded it. I always associate the vault guards with shields because I think they've got a reasonable chance of having one. Oh, this dude has an arc blade. Which is fine. I don't need the arc blade. The arc blade is. Um. Is it just a little dagger? I know it does like static discharge or something when you hit people, which is quite effective. Ooh. Hold up. Can I just get, like, I don't know if I can just get one of these statues of you. Uh, I don't think I can dig into here, so I'm not sure about that. Probably not. Oh, there we go. That's better. Plus, uh, eight is nice, too, on the arc blade. Yeah, true. Although, unfortunately, not a good Fobson weapon, because it's one-handed. <laughs> What I need is a uh, guy or gimbal or something. That would actually be kind of really fun on the form of Oh, that's a shield. At least magic as well. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Um, I want a choke point, but you've got to be a bit picky with your choke points when it comes to these guys. Because they can uh, flank behind you. So I need the, need the space behind me to be covered as well. Alright. Well, that's just a little shield. That's an awful lot of bog arts. Um, I got the Wand of Light. I might just use it. I tried. Oh, they're not that close, but I'll try. Uh, Alright. I can kill one of these bog arts. There we go. That's going alright. And it's always good to have something with like penetration, whether it's one of light or a javelin or even the storm bow or whatever. It's just nice having something. Uh, that looks pretty bad for all those slime creatures. Oh, it's a gem roller. 
Can I do this? Uh I mean, the ghost fight, they only do 9 damage. What even now? They have Vine Sword and Bring into the Leveland. Wow, Nox Ghost, or whatever they said. Um, it's that one I don't like. It's faster than me. Uh, well, they heard you again. It's like, hey, you have a gym roll to. Um, it's got to be such tough slug breaches. Oh, is this diggable? No. Because I'd love to just like sneak up behind here, dig into here, worship Jeeva so that all these guys become neutral, but I don't think I can do that. Um, no, there's no way I can just run these guys round, can I? Because this guy's fast as well, is it? 120% speed? 120% speed? Mm. Mm, okay. I'll definitely explore the rest of this level first. Oh, it's a really poison resist. That's not terrible. Okay. Man. Gotta be some sort of shenanigans they can do here. Mm. A long way from a staircase, are they? Jeez, one of those would definitely get up to me. How good am I at pacifying these guys? I don't think I can do it through the wall, right? Oh, it's mindless. Mindless. Oh, they're mindless. Okay, so I can't pacify them. Hey, Dennis! How's it going? How are you going today? Have you played any crew recently? I don't think I've seen you stream here for a little while. Do you think I should risk the slimes, Dennis? Because the plan was to go Jiva. And I did get a Jiva altar in the, um... In the lair. I kind of want to. I'm going to pop this open. Okay. Got to back up. I think I'll go for the staircase down here. Oh, okay. Got to cure the that thing. Hey, have we, oh, that's not the guy I wanted to front. Um, cause that was going to corrode me up. Oh, you played but not on stream? Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Can I just paralyze this dude? Oh, zero percent. Come on. What? Well, regardless of what day you can have used lines me? Quite a bit with their acid. Um, can I blind them? I don't think I can blind them, but I can damage them. Okay. I think I just shoot this guy. Oh, if I could get that ghost next to me, that would be really nice. Um, can I get rid of the corrosion with the purification? Poison, confusion, slowness, petrification, weakness, and sickness. Strained attributes. Fully restores max health. Oh, fully restores max health is actually not terrible when I dig through walls. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, this guy's just confusion, but I think that's fine. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, this one's a bit faster than me. Uh, I don't think it can get up to me. Uh, I'm just worried that some of these other guys aren't going to be... I want this guy next to me because it kind of blocks that space. Alright. Hopefully those guys disperse over the level a bit. Um, I gotta ask uh, Leveler to get rid of my max health rating. <laughs> it's nice that we can do that. Okay, hopefully with the rock slime out of the way. These guys don't look the worst. No, it's just a rock slime that I was mainly worried about. Alright. Oh, scarf resistance is kind of nice. What am I wearing? Cloak and stealth? Yeah, I'll take a scarf resistance. That gives me a fire decal resist, so I can swap off something. Um, Alright, there we go. Jiva did end up happening. That's crazy. Uh, do I need an evasion rig? Not massively. I'm just kind of going with the AC rig. But, ooh. Poison resist AC strength. Yes, please. I'll take that. Instead of protection, I guess. I mean, it's still protection. Um, and then, I don't have resist electric, but I have everything else, which is nice. Oh, actually, I've got one more level of dungeon to go, don't I? And then I'll go do the snake pits. 
Not too bad if one of these guys sets off the alarm trap. Well, not that any of them did, but it's not too different from um, something hitting my gong anyway. What was this armor? Plus three scale mail of two strats is not that good. Oh, wonder digging. And hey, wonder digging is always really funny on the form since, because you don't often really need to use it. What's my damage at? It's sitting at 39 there. And one attack delay, which is actually not too bad, but one attack delay. If the attack delay was a bit worse, it would be not that good, but... Yeah, Formicids always get pretty good damage, at least. I just fired it to try a Merfolk there, Tannis. I got the Dragon Killer Spear early. Oh, like the... Oh, I should know what that was called. Um... No, I know, I know the exact... Wormbane, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I know the exact one you're talking about. So you were super set up, then died stupidly to a bunch of Malia in Lair. Like, six smite several turns in a row. Yeah, Malia, they can be like that. Um, I mean, you can sometimes take them out with wands and stuff, but whoa. These are all fake, apart from one of these, right? Hey, it is the real one. <laughs> I knew that looked suspicious. Oh, let's just back up, okay. No, I'm not sure what the best thing to do is when you get a big crowd of melee. Um, Because sometimes you'll have, I don't know. I mean, this character tried using pacifier on melee, and that worked fairly well, but it doesn't always work because there's too many of them. Um, and it's especially bad if you're like a sprinkle or something without much health. Because they just ignore your defenses, right? Oh, he literally forgot they could smite, so he went down the middle of them. After the first turn, you knew was uh, screwed, they could get out of time. Yeah, right, so the, yeah, definitely. No, you got to remember to, like, hide around the corner and try and fight them one at a time. But sometimes that's not possible, because they're just so fast that sometimes you don't have a good spot to hide. Um, right, dungeon done. 40 shield value because I got the gong strapped to my arm. Let's go to the snake pits. Got the poison resist. I got everything apart from the resist electric, right? Which means the snake can electrocute me. Uh, Codration, death, frost, necromancy, sure, whatever. Do I really need that protection from firing on? I mean, it's nice, but... I'm not sure it's the best. Uh... Okay, so Sterian's got a, he's got a demon spear of some kind, spectral demon trident. Oh, the problem with those is that they work even in corridors because the spectral thing disappears behind him. Oh, I think he's going to die. Actually, they don't work in corridors. Oh, ow. Oh, he shot me with a lightning bolt. Oh, man. Ow. That was... Oh, he almost killed me with that one. I mean, this was going well, then he shot me with a lightning bolt. Um... This is questionable, but I think I'm gonna shock myself and hope it doesn't take me down too far. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, it's another guy with lightning. That one resist I don't have. Oh, man. Uh, where's a good spot to dig here? Because I kind of feel like I might need to dig into a wall or something. Alright, let's get some more fighting, I guess. What else do I need? Uh, I'll get some more indications, actually. I might get up to, like, 16. Oh, I need a bit of one skill as well. Get up to 10, I think. I'm doing pretty decently with the skills, because the uh, pharmacists do have good aptitudes, which is nice. Last thing I want to do is, like, dig through a wall and dig into a bunch of creatures. I'll try not to do that. Uh, Okrul is either extremely stingy with resist electric or gives you 16 sauces by D5. Yeah, it, it really does. They give you multiple sauces or just nothing. I don't know. I mean, there are definitely games where I've already got one sauce. But uh, not too long back, I played like a Coglin and they took the... um. Resist electric 
Oh, what are they called? Gizmo or something. And then immediately found statue for I was like, but, but I just got myself from this land trick. But I ended up using the statue form anyway, and it was alright. Uh... Who is that guy hiding around the wall? Ah, oh, it's a chop shield, that was a, not too bad. With my shield value and my reflection. Um, if I need items, I should be looking at them kind of immediately, because they're going to get eaten, but I don't think there's any shields on the ground. I'm just worried about a Sarah zap with lightning. Can I zap him with lightning before he zaps me? Maybe. Alright. Well, he got a taste of his own medicine there with the lightning. Um... Don't need a scale mail. I don't, don't really need his demon tribe, but I'll pick it up just in case a treasure trove wants it, but I doubt it will. There's nothing I need there. Play the armor, young poison handbook. I don't think I need those ones. Those are scrolls. More scrolls. Flail of venom. All right. What's the play the armor? Of cold resist. Fire resist. Scale armor of cold resist. Nah, not really what I need. So we're doing it a god ability. Is that three party where I get to slime by the walls? Well, not slime by the walls. Uh, acidify the walls. Probably is. But I'll probably get Resist Corrosion. Do I have another source of that? Or is that... No, but yeah, my Gog. But that Gog is actually filling out quite a few of the Resist, but... uh, I get another one from Jeeva now, I guess. Oh, Tr Trove would probably want a plus 8 one anyway. Yeah. I mean, plus 4 might work, but they usually want like plus 6, plus 8. I don't know. And without using scrolls, I'm not going to be able to chop it up, so. Might not work. Um, at least I'm not getting double zap by the electricity there. That's still a little bit of a questionable spot to be in. I'm going to try some games with skills on auto. See how bad it can be? There were Daz. I mean, if you play a fighter, I reckon it's winnable. Um... <laughs> Because playing as a null, I mean, yeah, that's true. If you played as a null, there'd kind of be no downside for the skills being on also. But that feels a bit like cheating. I think there was a uh, there was a challenge where people was playing like as a mummy, and uh, turned every single one of their skills on. I don't know if anyone won the challenge or not, but I definitely remember that challenge existing. I go with Oddy Hedge Wizard. I don't think I won an Oddy Hedge, Hedge Wizard. Personally, I've never liked Hedge Wizards, but they get some okay spells. Um. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna back up because I do have the regen going. These guys are pretty slow. There we go. So much better when I've actually got some health on me trying to fight these guys. Uh. Guess it's just time to go downstairs. Alright, level 18. Actually, my level... Yeah, I think... I feel like Forbes says level up fast. I'm pretty sure they do, because they've already been... Always been, like, slightly higher level than I'd expect. Because uh, I'd usually expect reaching level 18 by about 4th level of the state, but since it's 3rd level. Maybe I just got extra dose of enemies or something, but... Oh, he's got distortion. I can probably kill it before it gets up to me, though. Yeah, no problems. Ooh, something happened to me. I've got some AC and I've got some evasion for my gelatinous body. And my ones are more powerful, but use magic points, which is actually not bad. This character doesn't have a lot of use for magic points because the user magic is used a little bit, but there really isn't a lot that uses it, I think. Also, um, I don't need the invocations anymore. Whoops. Although, to be fair, I might end up going for a Java title anyway. We'll see. Um, Hex was it a secretly a fighter start? I mean, what do you get? You get, like, Mephitic Cloud, Blink, 
magic doll, which drops off pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, that could actually secretly be a finer start. I, I think I've won like three hex wizards, and one of them was a draconian, because I got great draconian. Um, and the other one was GD, because I got great GD. I can't remember what the third one was. Do I need a triple sword? Probably not. I'm picking up the sub slimes eating it, but I'm kind of planning on going ranged here instead of switching to the swords or something. Also, if you're just punching and zapping things, the auto skill should level and right? Yeah, if you punch someone, it should level a certain amount of the unarmed. Um, I'm not actually that familiar with how it works, but I know it definitely based on what you do. Like, when you have armor on, you get head it decides to trade up a little bit of armor and stuff. Um, and hopefully you never decide you want to get into a spellcasting that you didn't start with. But I remember people used to do, like, silly things, like get a low-level spell of the school they wanted and just spam it up to combat. Um... <laughs> Made sure the XP went to the right spot, but I don't think it quite works like that. I like that shield. Call, uh, tower shield and cold resist. Alright, um... But I don't like where I am. Uh-oh, I'm gonna dig into... Oh, that's fine. That's completely fine. Can I reduce how many things you can see? I mean, not safely, I don't think. Alright. My health is actually doing pretty good. Oh, look at all those creatures on the other side there that have heard me um, fighting. That's a bit of a worry. Uh, did that jelly... Oh, it ate the big shield. I thought that would have been... Oh, come on. I thought that would have been perfectly safe in combat, but nope. Oh, actually, I lost a little bit of health here. Um... These guys are sped up, which is not the best. Uh, okay, got out of there, because I feel like the things would have just kept coming, but yeah, the shield's gone, isn't it? Man, I mean, that's a downside of Jiva. But there wasn't a lot I could do with that jelly. I didn't really want to swap places with it. Oh, did I just get double zapped? I feel like I might have. Um... Oh, you did? Yep. Oh, yeah. The board of electricity hits you times two. I'm gonna try and move here. I hope that's somewhere I don't get double zapped. All right. Yeah, getting double zapped is definitely very dangerous. Uh, there's another one of these guys. Oh. I don't think there's any shields on the ground, are there? I probably could get to them in time if they were. I'll lose the money, but that's alright. <laughs> alright, well there's a lot of guys coming along here, but I'm feeling healthy still. I don't see any items on them that I want. Ooh, I removed my poison resist. I gotta kill it and retreat. That's probably just a jelly that I'm detecting on the other side of that wall. Wait, but I did a the creature. Can I not tell if it's, like, hostile or not? I guess not. It doesn't seem to be telling me. Alright, let's get... Um... I kind of just want to get more shield skill. It's a shame I'm not going to get, like, a really big shield to go with it. Yet. I mean, it's still okay, but it'll be, yeah, it'd definitely be nice to have, uh... Had that tower shield they could eat it. Yeah, well, I might just have to be, might be stuck with a gog with this character, because that's the end of the snake person, that was the only tower shield I saw. Um, so I guess time for the swab. Oh, come on, blow that cow before it gets up to me. I kind of hoping to find something over this electric in here, but I doubt that's going to happen. Oh. Uh...
Did I have a way of flying? Because I could take off the fire resistant here. I'm pretty sure I had some sort of ring of flight. Anyway, I don't need... Don't need that poison resist one. Don't need two cold resist. I don't think because I've already got two cold resist. Don't need the acrobat. You know that spirit guardian one. Alright, so I've got... Three rings of potential, which is definitely excessive. So I can drop one of those. Um... There we go, there's a flight. Let's put that one on. So I still got one fire resist, which is great, because I had a character died here recently from lack of fire resist. I was trying to swap on a ring of fire thing, and I died to a couple of will o' the wisps, which is kind of sad. Um, just a low shield. Yeah, it's not even really bad to get rid of the thing. The problem with the uh, swap is I can't dig through any of the walls. The plus side is I got basically all the resist and everything I need. Plus 7 scale mail? It's minus willpower. Ring mail, I mean. Mm, it's more defense. I don't know. It feels really, really questionable with the minus willpower on it. Do you lose the cold resist as well, don't I? Game back? Okay. Mm. I mean, my current one's hard, but I actually kind of like my current one because it gives all regen, which is really nice. Especially when I can't really escape creatures very easily, so I often end up trying to get large amounts of creatures. And just kind of relying on the regen to keep me healthy. Although, to be fair, I'd still have quite a bit of regen without that regen, because I got all the Jiva regen, right? So, I don't know. Might not be necessary. Oh, <laughs> I got something. Did I reflect his wood splitters back in it? I sure did, with my gog. No, because I got 40 shield value, which is kind of ridiculous for this point of the game. But it's a good chance I might stick with this gong, just because I can't charge up another shield. Um, but it will make Zod a bit harder, but I reckon it'll be fine until then. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Gonna kill this guy, even though it might up the other ones. I hope that wasn't a bad mistake, but then I can hide in here. Oh, except this guy can still hit me, and I can't ask by the walls, right? Nah, they're not the right type. I think I lightning rod these guys. Alright, there we go. I think everything's under control again. Um, we'll see how many creatures come along, but yeah, the regen's really nice. I don't think I need that, it's just a ring of ice. Got so much gold resist. It's just nice, alright. Can you set trees on fly with five flame one? I don't think so, no scoop. Snoopin? I don't think so. I can try it though. They got like extra flame ones, so I'm pretty sure you can't. Yeah, it just makes the steam. Which can be useful for blocking vision of enemies sometimes. I mean, it doesn't always work because often there's like poison clouds and stuff going in here. Um, but no, unfortunately, I don't think you can dig through the trees that way. You can with the flame wave. Apparently, you can with the emulation. Although, I've never really had emulation going in somewhere like this. Uh, cat was starburst, cat was fireball. Do demon like trees do anything special when they get set berserk? I'm not sure. Alright. That's not a very nice staircase to go down. I might just try one of the other ones. Um. Oh, I don't like this guy. I might just shoot this guy over here. Okay, good. It is quicker than trying to kill Mio Glottal directly. Okay, yeah, come on, really? Another one? He just wants to give me mutations, doesn't he? Let's bring him upstairs. There we go, that's better. Oh, you like using Fireball and Starburst and Swamp and Lair? Yeah, Fireball's really fun in the Swamp. I've had it going before. Um, it just, like, blow everything up. So I think I had to go last on a genie in here. I know, uh, I know during like the 
previous tournaments, there was I had a GD with Fireball. I felt like they went through here. Oh, it's been a little while. Uh, I killed this dude. All right, that's level three. Let's go down again. There's not one gonna get swamped. I mean, there's kind of no other options when I'm making so much noise. All right, bring that guy upstairs. It's an all right option. Let's bring this guy up. The tactical oh didn't follow. Tactical monstrosity there is not what I want to see. But there's a lot of guys can be like here yeah, that make it harder to get up staircases. Uh, there we go. Tactical monstrosity dead. Might have swapped between these two staircases. I hope this is fine. But it seems to put me pretty much on the opposite side of the enemies each time, which is not too bad. I can't fight too many hydras at once, unfortunately, but. Uh... This does seem fine. And the nice thing with the bog bodies is usually they like try and slow you down, but I don't have to worry about that, which is kind of nice. Um, the other thing they do is a little bit of cold damage, but that's not too much of a worry when you've got two cold resist. I like these hydras, which are a bit more of a worry. But I feel like there's a main creature that's been doing damage to me in here. I mean, some of the other things like the bunny ups and stuff. But for this ending specifically, it's been the hydras that have been doing a lot of damage. But this is definitely the classic swamp ending with all the um, hydras and swamp dragons. Maybe a Linnaean Hydra? No one certainly has a chance in it. I don't have a Phantom Mirror, unfortunately, because that's really good against the Lernan Hydra. Yeah, you gotta take things carefully in case one of those pops around the corner. Oh! Alright, well, I could Slimeify it. I might not need to Slimeify it. But yeah, that would have been the plan if it got close to me, because I'm not that well defended, so it would have been able to, like, get through my health pretty quick. Alright, good. So I've doubled the swamp, but I don't think I've resist electric. Uh, the arc blade. Right, that doesn't help the most, because then I would be able to shoot. So let's just go to... Hey, it's probably still going to go to vault, so I guess I could try the Alvin Halls, but even that one, it's nice to have a bit of resist electric. Ooh, there's, um... It's a, there's a, what's it called, a distant, oh, not one of those, a distant dissolution of salt. Uh, they're best if you're not, like, super noisy. <laughs> okay, I can grab the boots, I think my boots weren't that special. Yeah, plus zero boots. Um, very distant. Yeah, but I'll try to get to it, but there's a good chance I'm just gonna have to leave immediately. Oh. Matt Major's mules don't help. Um, the shield of resistance. I'm actually not too bad with those resists. Let's look at this. Doesn't say what I'd lose uh 16 shield value, but I'd gain five evasion. That's not that great. This character weirdly probably doesn't need that, although I do need the willpower, but weirdly I don't think I need it. Um Well oh, Desolution definitely should go there as a breeze, surely. <laughs> Uh, oh, I feel like it more it's me than it's a breeze for the enemies if I go in there. But it would definitely make you salty if you lost a character in there. In fact, I have lost a character in there before. Um, multiple times even, I think. Oh, the free artifacts, what could go wrong? 
Surely nothing would go wrong in the death solution of salt. Uh, I need to wait off this corrosion. Also, I can't find it. Maybe it doesn't have to be listening out careful enough, but I don't know. Uh oh, nope, that's a sun to hope. Why do bring it nice and close? Because then it can't sun to me. Um, where is this dissolution of salt? It's not telling me where it is. I feel like dissolution of salt is one of the hottest side areas. I feel like it often is. Yeah, it, I've found it a decent number of times. I mean, it's definitely not the one that kills me the most, but that probably partly has to do with the fact that I don't find it that often. Uh, ooh, something happened. I feel agile? Nice. Willpower's nice. But slightly less evasion AC. Actually, I got more AC. Slightly less evasion. That's fine. Sets there by items. Yeah, those are nice. Okay. Those are actually really good set of mutations right there. Let's bring my damage up to 46. Oh, yeah. Oh, you smash or you get smashed and salt though in between. Identified characters are like really good with their damage tend to do the best. Um, but Major's always run out of magic points unless it was Sif Mana, basically. <laughs> and that tends to be my experience. But the good thing is it puts you reasonably near an exit when you go in, so... I feel smart, you can leave. But I'm not always that smart at leaving on time. Um... Also, it's not telling me where the place is anymore, which means it might have collapsed. Either that or I just haven't been seeing the messages. Oh, there's friends. Okay. Uh, hold up. Uh, crumbling. It's not collapsed. Apparently, it just didn't want to give me any messages. Okay, sure. I don't want to leave my... <laughs> I want to leave my staircase in the middle here. Alright, this is when I get really noisy, though. Unfortunately, I can't, like, ask for any moles or anything. Which could be a problem. Uh Oh, this is definitely a problem, right? Now oh, I'm getting out of here. Alright, well that was a shame, but yeah, everything hurt my gog and just decided to come along, which was not really a surprise. I'm really surprised that it didn't give any well it gave me like some initial messages of where it was and then nothing. I feel like Gog is maybe not such a great idea in there. Yeah, it'd be nice if this character could get a backup shield, because um, I don't really have a lot of choice here. I mean, I've got a, like a plus zero kite shield as my other choice. Oh, I should probably go up, because there's a Thunder Hulk, and there's a guy that can block the staircases. It's not a great combination. Oh, wait, that's a friend. Don't want to shoot a friend, that would be really rude. Ooh, what's that? Don't know yet, but it's a shield. No, don't eat my shield! Well, their shield is resistance, that's true. But unfortunately, it's only a fairly small shield, so it's not that protective. That dude's gonna eat my shield, no! Uh... Hold up, can I paralyze that guy? Oh, it's 40%. Try some roots. No. The roots didn't hold the guy. Oh. Man. I think that, that shield is just God. Oh no, this is how the Hulk again. Um, not the best spot to see that Thunder Hulk. I don't think I've got anything they can really hit it right now. It's too far away. Man, okay. Uh, let's bring some of these guys upstairs.
Oh, that's still not gonna work. All right. Now these guys can see all the stake. Go. Oh. Okay. Uh, my mom, I should be fine now. Yeah, that was another zap of electricity they got me. Yeah, hopefully I can shoot this guy from where I am. What's that? Ah, wrong guy. Shoot the sun dog. Obviously, that's the one to go with. Uh, let's get some fighting going. I'll bring it up to like 22. I might bring up the rage as well. As I'm saying, you got to find a bigger rage worth, right? Uh... Ah, God, yeah. I mean, that was obviously not going to be there with the slime running around. All right, what do we got here? Maybe I'll find a shield of ignorance or something at some stage. We'll see. Because at least those will start pre-enchanted. Uh, my buddy. I'm going to let the slime get it. It's only like 32 gold or something. It's not that much. That would be the end of the world if the slime got it. Do I actually have anything for sale? Got the shield of resistance, but that's about it. Uh, it's a book of the warfare, the manifold sword, or the dispersal could be fine. Ah, uh, maybe at some stage. I have, won't get into it just yet, but I'll think about it. Oh, that sucks. They should probably be barred from interacting with items you've already seen, like most monsters. Maybe. Oh, that's kind of the whole thing, is that they eat the items. Um. I think it's, oh. That's not a not a charged shield, but I might pick it up, see how protective it does anyway. Um I'd lose ten shield value and gain five evasion. Right, okay. So even with the high shield skill, I still lose a little bit of shield value, but it's not a huge amount to lose. It's honestly not that bad. Um I'd also lose a Willpower, resist negative, and a resist score. Resist score does matter. Willpower, resist negative do matter though. Uh, I guess you're asking for a you go Jiva, definitely. Yeah, asking for your shields to be eaten before you get to them. <laughs> no, I mean, this character doesn't suffer too badly because, um, oh, that's a nice helmet. Fire resist, cold resist, poison resist. Jamie can't wear it. I don't know if it was also plus two. No, this character doesn't get too much of a downside because um they're not using potions and scrolls anyway. And those are usually some of the things that get quite eaten. Oh, hey Nicola. Would you mind getting paralyzed for me? Oh, three percent. Okay. Oh, he's always dead. I can just kill him. I was going to turn him into a slime, but he didn't live long enough to need to be turned into one. I uh, got the gloves. Got the cloak. Not that I'm wearing it. I'm wearing the scarf resistance right now. Hmm. Let's bring these guys back just a little bit. So I've got some sort of choke point, even if it's, oh, uh, ow, not a proper one. I gotta get closer here. Oh, man, um... Can't shoot this guy, can I? Light of fire is blocked by the jelly, yup, thought so. Can I shoot a one of light? Because I know some changes were made to how Jeeva works. No, that's also blocked, okay. Ow, oh. So that's fine, not really, because there's more guys in here that can recall, which is not what I want to see at all. Um, I'm just going to back up a little. Wait, does being frozen or oh, does slow my movement? Interesting. Because I can't be slow by normal slow, but... These guys are fast. Um... There we go, making them walk through the Uzo Mazzy wall did something at least. 
Hey, please get that triple crossbow. It might be a good weapon. Is it? Oh, it's not even charged. That's probably not going to be that good. So it's uh, 63 damage, 1.3 attack delay. This one's 40, um, 6 damage. I mean, that's the problem. It's not, it doesn't have a brand on it. Um, I don't think I can give it a brand unless I go with a shiny one or something, make it a holy wrath one. But yeah, I don't think there's another option there. Um, wait, plus 5 obelisk of freezing sounds pretty decent. For now, anyway. Hopefully the elves give me a longbow, because that's something I can use. Uh, I don't have a choice but to kill this guy. Because <laughs> it kind of did seal out my door there. Plus the obelisk of flaming. Okay, I've got a better one than that. What other gods can brand weapons? Um, I know Legato can put distortion on the weapon, right? But I'm not sure that works in ranged ones. Someone can put pain. It's probably QQ or something. Um, yeah, I don't think that really works. All right, let's get the Dex. Because I, I kind of do want to stick with Jiva. Also, I think Jiva Wrath is kind of bad because you get all the negative mutations or something. Anyway, let's uh, go down once more the bolts here. Um, have these changed around recently? I don't think they had that much. Although, I'm if it's poorly in use, like, it doesn't really matter that much. Melee attacks may go if we don't really do those. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Obviously, electric I don't think I care about that one. Okay, used to shower ranges with red on triple crossbows. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I mean, sometimes you get them with Oakmar, the old one. You'd usually get at least one by the end of the game. Um, but I noticed I sometimes still used to end up waiting till like, I had a character that was like in Zod, I think, when they got their first triple crossbow of Oakmar. But yeah. At least some characters were just like constantly shouting at them. Uh, another side to Hulk. Some of these guys are going to start recalling, aren't they? Um, oh, no. They're just going to die, apparently. That's exactly what I want to say. Not saying any like auxiliary armor on the ground. Yeah, I remember I used to always like go with Okawaru to be guaranteed a triple crossbow. I'm kind of surprised this character did find one. Oh, this uh, mutation reset. So I still got the Dax. I lost the willpower, unfortunately. Um, I got eyes that may confuse attackers but may be more accurate. Passing map near around me. Okay. Shame about the willpower. Cause, oh, sweet. Yes, the gong's give me one. Why do I have three willpower? Huh. Maybe sometimes I just level up willpower. That's actually not too bad at all. I would expect it to be more than like two willpower, one naturally and one from um the gong, but maybe not. Alright, goodbye, Gold Dragon. You don't get too many Gold Dragons in the Vaults. I know Vaults 5 often has a sub, but Vaults 4 doesn't usually have too many. Anyway, I think I might go to the... Uh... Might go to the Elven Halls. I'm just a little bit worried that I'm going to go 3 willpower. Surely this will be fine. Man, he's all electric, guys. Hmm. I'm actually, I might try to go to the devs for a while. That might be a slightly easier spot for this character. Hopefully, I'll find pl plenty of uh, choke points though to go hide in. I think the devs are generally pretty diggable in terms of the walls. Right, but the only problem could be that also some of the enemies, the um, these guys, troll earth mages, can dig them as well. So sometimes you take yourself a choke point and the enemies are like, nope, not gonna have that choke point anymore. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna acid up some walls here for a bit. 
He thought we'll do some damage to this Berserk, um, Spriggan. Does stasis prevent you from being banished? I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Does it go to yet? Armaments, maybe. No, it's not. It's not what I was thinking. Uh... Slime the whole hole, I guess. Really nice uh, the Uzo Mans here. I'm gonna rev to use it more. Because my party's maxed out. Um, it does actually do a decent amount of damage. I'm gonna just do that. Actually, I might just do that. There we go. And there's another spot where you can like pop down an Uzo Mans here if you want. Uh, ow. Did something just torment me? No, it flayed me. Right, that's fine. Uh, should definitely hide around my corner here, make sure nothing else flays me. Oh, I love your kill hole technique, it's uh, definitely farmers in life. Just love you these little kill holes. Gotta be the ant in the wall, I guess. Um, but yeah, every time I peek my head out here, I get flayed. So I guess I shouldn't peek my head out too much. But the creatures keep on, like, not noticing me and just wandering off, so... Gotta occasionally peek my head out. Although, with the sound of the gong, I wouldn't think they'd wander off too much. I don't know, but I'm sure some of those are wandering off. Uh, any reason to have a demon blade? I guess I'll pick one up just in case the trove asks for it. But there really isn't any other reason for me specifically to have a demon blade. You want to be one entire army? I certainly do. No, so the reader really helps with those choke points as well um, from Jiva. Like, I can just sit there and heal up. Uh, what was I going to do with my third rune? Actually, hold on, I know where I should be. I should be in side pits. Because I maxed up my party. Um, so I can just hang out with my friends in the side pits. Alright. Uh... If there's an escape hatch down, I should go take it. Because I can sometimes put you right next to the triage and it'll look like there are these are just real staircases. Alright, let's head on down. Uh, I might get some of the stuff before it gets eaten. Mm. I try to look at the cloak. Ah, just acid resist. I don't think that's that great. Uh, Ring of Dex could be good, though. I managed to snap that one up before I was gone. Oh yeah, of course there's a jam here because I was super quick at getting in here. Don't need to worry about that rope because it's an artifact. Um, resist points, resist negative. I'll pull it out of here, but I don't think it's that good. I'll for a prayer to Jeeva while I'm in here and then it's probably just time to leave. Plus no war acts of pain, fire to the No, I don't really need that. It's not a, not a rage weapon, unfortunately. Let's go back to the depths. I got something, right? Uh, I don't think that cloak's really that useful, actually. Need to these old boots. Man, so that ring. Hold up. I've got a ring of flight on, which makes zero sense. Let's go put on the ring of dex instead. So I've got 70 evasion, which isn't that much. 44 shield value. Hey, I get one shield, one evasion. Let's not go out that much. Damage probably went up a bit. It was the easy route. It's very easy route when you were Jiva. Uh, I'm gonna get some dodging, see if it makes any difference. Like, you know what, I might just get dodging for a little while, see if it makes any difference. That in fact, that brings me out to three runes, so when I get to Zod, I can just go in if I want to. In fact, maybe I should? Oh, I should probably do the Elven Halls, actually. And then just go to Zod. I don't want to be too hard to level. I know they can make life quite difficult. This looks fine. Yeah, none of these things are too scary. They're mainly melee guys. Hey, it's more of these fruit catches again. This one has a mango. I haven't seen the meat ones in ages. Do they still exist? I think it's gone or something. I don't know. It's getting kind of suspicious. 
I might actually acid up some of these walls. Ooh. Yeah, that guy's doing a bit of damage to me. Alright, that's better. The problem is this guy's reflection, so it could potentially do a large chunk of damage to me. That was from his shield, right? I don't think I care about that shield. I'm just gonna leave it to be jelly food, I guess. Alright. Well, these guys are all gonna turn the simulacrums. I guess that's alright. Um, this guy needs to die, though, so it gets sent to the abyss. Uh, yeah, I might just get get up. There's kind of a lot of stuff coming along. They've all got the ton of the simulacrums of death effect on them and stuff. Or the vegetarians in the dungeon, and so that spring of life, living on vegetables. I did have a demon trident, but I don't know if it was that good. It was plus four. That's the same as one here, right? Might get the demon whip, but I doubt that's going to get me into any sort of trove. Uh, fire this dex rig. Ooh, that's nice. What do I take off? I probably love to leave on the poison with this AC one. So I might just take off the normal decks one, just get a bit of free fire resist over free stealth. Yeah, that's good. Those resists are looking pretty good. Um, wait, this plus five demon blade? I might pick that one up. I've probably got tons of weapons like this oak bow. I don't need the triple sword, I really don't. Where's my other demon blade? So I got the whip. Oh, they both plus five. Oh, I already had the plus five one, okay. Uh drop the obelisk to flavor. I think the freezing was better. Drop that spear because I'm really never gonna use that. Besides, it won't even get eaten. That'll do for now. Um I really don't have to be that careful with what I pick up with this character, because I mean look at my inventory. I've actually only got seven slots left. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Given those characters picked up no potions, no scrolls. And those are usually filling up a huge chunk of your inventory. A flashback to when butchering corpses and food were mechanics. And to eat all the corpses. No, I remember you had to, like, stop after pretty much every fight. Well, not quite every fight, but most of them. There's bunches of corpses. Uh-huh. Um, hmm. Well, that was a bit of an acid wall, but I reckon I'm just going to have to slimify Sojia Bow. She does usually have a repel missiles on. Oh, so willpower is this negative ring? I don't know if that's that good. Where did she even go? She like up and left, I guess. Okay. Uh okay. I want her nice and close to me. I don't wanna try and bring around the corner or nothing. Oh you missed jumping cops this Charlie Wig? It was so much, uh, your muscle memory of playing girls just chopping the corpses. He's gone up to a corpse and press C. Now that brings up like the unequipped menu or something. <laughs> and I remember I used to have to have like a sharp weapon on you or something to be able to do that. Okay, I will do the slime if I. I'll... She should be able to be slime if I'd, right? Oh no. Hold up. I ain't gonna go unarmed for a little while. Yeah, I did. Yeah, shooting it. Oh, I didn't realize that the side fight didn't quite work with the shooting. <laughs> Man. Is there, how do you perform a melee weapon attack with your unarmed weapon? I'm not sure if you can. Hmm. That feels like a slight oversight that you can't slime fight someone with a rage weapon in melee range. <laughs> I mean, obviously you're not going to be able to do it at a distance, right? That would be ridiculous. Like, it hits the kill at a distance, effectively, but... I don't know, I don't feel like it should work with the... It's work at melee range. Um... Maybe I need to get some myself some sort of quick blade or something. As an offhand weapon to get lots of attacks in. What's this chance? Oh, okay, 30% to hit. That's not too bad.
That brings the artifact, right? Good, so I don't have to worry about it. Just like gold resist, though, I guess it's got some flight. Uh, I don't know. Same broker gonna drop it, I think, no interest in it. Don't think so. Let's get her where she has said. Um, because if she is gonna drop something that was interested, I'll try to bring it really closer so the slimes didn't hit it. Uh, these walls are distinctively non diggable. Mm. I mean, I guess the outside walls are diggable, so that's something. Well, not actually all of them. Like, these are again non diggable. So you have to be very careful you're digging here. But generally, this level, this layout of levels is not too bad. You know, I kind of miss when the GOG had uh, resist electric on it. I don't know. For some reason, they got changed to like resist corrosion or something, I think. Uh, why does slimeify some of these guys? Which resist corrosion is okay, resist. I mean, it's good in the slime pits, right? But. Obviously, you don't need it with Jiva, but I feel like in general, it's kind of a worse resist than resist electric. Um, oh, potions. Not gonna need any potions. Also, I can take one of these transporters, right? Uh, I can even find one. Oh, that's close enough. It's interesting with like the permanent teleporters to get out, which I can just stand on because I'm a former so it doesn't actually do much. Also, this level I'm used to seeing on like le last level of depths, the last level of dungeon, but it's just randomly on depths too, so I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it's fine, but I always associate that with like the end of a branch. Uh. So I'm that scarf resistance. I'll probably just have the scarf resistance on forever, right? Did I pick something up? There's nothing good in here. Do I have like a uh, dispersal? I do. It's 100% failure. I really don't need a head cannon. Do I? It's the same as Novelist pretty much, I think. Except one handed. I do need something better than Novelist, but. um. I haven't really found anything better. Gloves of strength. One of my gloves again, plus two gloves. So I lose one uh, armor class, I gain three strength. That's not actually that good a trade off. Ooh, trading up the dodging has been really good for this character. I guess because I have 35 gauge and, you know, it's made a big difference. Oh, wait, why is my shield up to 53? Did I get that much more dex? Hold up. I got a little bit more dex, but that looks like uh, quite an improvement. Um, How do I get to this area? Hold up, let's look at staircases here. So I've got two down there. Oh, I've got two down staircases and three up staircases. So I have to go downstairs. Fair enough. And then there should be an up staircase that leads through. This is not what I want to see. Can I just back these guys up a little bit? Oh, ow. Ow. Gonna back up once more. Oh, this is actually really bad. I gotta put some roots on these guys. Ah, I just gotta keep putting roots on these guys. Man, those, those were absolutely savaging my health though because I got no resist electric. My oh, hand is so good on oh, anyone other than a pharmacist. Yeah. Yeah, the, the one character that doesn't really benefit from those ones. Oh no, these are my two staircases. How many of those are left? Not too many spark balls, right? Oh good, I might have brought them all up. Hey, there's the unexplored staircase. Um, These are electric, right? Okay. They will... Oh, there we go. They'll change what they are. I really do need to find some resist electric, though. Um, <laughs> could be the end of this character if I don't get some by bolts. So I really hope not, but... That's kind of feel necessary. Uh, not bolts, uh, Zot. 
That's kind of feel like a necessary thing when going through Zod. I mean, I have done it before without, obviously, but... Oh, wait, is that a quick blade? I kind of want to just carry that around. Okay, so I can drop one of the... I can drop the hand cannons. Silly. Drop one of the demon blades. But I can probably drop all those things soon. I don't need the scale mail poison resist. The rogue poison resist is a bit silly. That ring mail minus will pass not that good. Alright. Uh, let's carry on the quick play because it could be good for triggering my slime of fire record. Oh, who's that? Frederick? Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. I think. I bring him around the corner. Oof. Okay, with my quick blade. Hey, there we go. Frederick the slime. That's what I want to see. Where's my normal weapon there, Liz? I could even get like a little bit of short blade skill, but it's not really that necessary, is it? Ooh. That's a lot of flay. If I just hide around this corner and slime for these walls. Uh there we go, I unflayed myself soon, but... Is even, is even a summon flayed ghost? It's not even real. There we go, got rid of it. Uh, please let me shoot one of those. I don't think I can chew on the Earth Mages there. That Frederick, yes, yeah, my friendly Frederick just running around the level, eating all the items. Oh, it's certainly better than uh, Frederick hitting me with what's the iron shots? Bombards? I don't actually know what he has these days. One of those two things. Alright, how's the dodgy go? Let's go right. Um. I need to look up titles. Hold on, let me just check. So, I've had most of the general forms at once. I don't think they got anything special apart from the Teletunnel, which I've already had. Um, so, I'm just going to have to look at... I might look at God ones, actually. It's probably the first thing to look at. Uh, these gods? This all look like gods? Gods. Jiva. Why? Is Scum even a title you can get anymore? Might just try for like a dissolving ant if that's a possibility. I'll just double check that I haven't already had that one. Um, don't think I added the bot to chat, unfortunately. Let's quickly go do that. Let's just double check all the ad titles I've got here. I definitely had Teddy Tell. Okay, I Shapeless Ant, Mary Ant, Formicid Barricade, Ant of Prey, Ant of Death, Ant of Arms. So I have not had a Dissolving Ant. Okay, good. Um, it does require Spanky to a bit of a useless skill, but I still reckon it's the right thing to do. Oh, something happened to my mutations here. I lost a bit of dex, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. I dampened the noise of my surroundings, so that's interesting. That works really well to Gog, I think. Uh, Calamity of Mind? That's alright. Yeah, but I lost a ton of shield value with that one. Oh, hey there, it's Tech Man. Oh, Tech Man? I think I was saying your name wrong this, like, entire time. For some reason, I thought it was an N in there. I thought it was a snack, but no, it's a... It's, um, what? It's Tech Man, I think. It's what it's meant to be. Oh, man. There's so many summons. How do I even hit the guy? Mm, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. A little bit more close. And then I can hit it with the light, I believe, from here. There we go. Got rid of it. Oh, your Vine Stalker uh, fighter with Sif Mana was strong, but died in... Wait, in Tartarus? Oh, wow, that actually did do pretty well. 
Did you ever try like manifolds sold on them or? Because I'm not sure if that would be worthwhile or not. But I often find it pretty fun on the Sith Mana fighter type characters. Oh, it's due to your own stupidity with poison. It was not uh, shared across HP and magic points. Right, yeah, just does uh, straight hit points. Um, so I'm presuming you didn't find a death talisman in that case. Or at least didn't get one going. Where was I going? I was going to the Elven Halls. Um, I must have had a mutation that was giving me shield value before, because I it was on 40-something, then I randomly got up to like 53 shield value, and now I'm back down a bit. All without, like, changing my skill. Uh, push me off the staircase, that's incredibly rude. Alright, I want to be on that one. Just use Divine Exodus to carry you with, like, Dragon's Call upon the Vortex. Ah, yeah, makes sense. No, but it would have definitely been nice to get the Death Talisman so you didn't get poisoned up. Um... What do I want to get? I'm going to get Dodging up to 20. I don't know, do I really want to go for the Invocations? I mean, I feel like I could. I just don't want to, like... Oh, it's plus zero long burst, probably not worthwhile. Um, I don't want to, like, uh, mess up getting a title gear yeah, just by... No, not getting a title, mess up this challenge run just by focusing too much on getting a title. But I've already had the shield style, so I don't know what else there is I could go with. A oh, channel magic was so strong for staying alive? I mean, it sounds like it worked if it got you to Tartarus. I should maybe give that a try. I do have a Vine Silk of Waffles I need to win at some stage. Um, because I'm actually pretty close to getting Great Whopper or whatever it is. I think I've only got like three Whoppers left. Vine Silk uh, Vampire, maybe? No, I might have done that one. I don't know. I don't know if there's a few of them there. Hey, I feel clever. I got five in. Wait, did that go down a bit? Oh, it did too, because I got the plus strength mutation. Which means, um... It means I get, uh, minus two to the end, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna look at my, I'm gonna look at my other shield here. Yeah, it's still the minus ten shield value plus, uh... Five evasion deal that's been for quite some time. I guess that makes sense, because I haven't actually really changed my shield skill, still just sitting on, uh, 26 or something. Ooh, something happened to me. Okay, I lost a bit of strength, got a bit of dex, so that's the right way around. Armor's less encumbering, I don't think that matters. Still passively down with the noise of my surroundings, which is amazing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, those look perfectly fine. Uh, there's no real point in doing the Hall of Blades, is there? Because it's not going to have a ranged weapon for me, which is kind of sad. I do need to watch out for these guys' bows, see if any of them have good bows. In fact, I should search for ranged again. Because I saw the plus zero bow and I decided against that one. Um, Because if I was just going to do like a plus zero weapon with no branded, I'd use my triple crossbow. Yeah, so again, it's the unbanded. Oh, that's branded. Hold up. Longbow freezing might be worthwhile. 48, no, 47 damage point, 7 attack delay. 56 damage, 1 attack delay, that's gotta be better, right? Hold on, let me, let me ask the bot. Um, so, 47 divided by 0 0.7. 67, yeah. I mean, I think that's going to win out. Firstly, if somebody's like really armored up, maybe it wouldn't win out, but no, it uh, definitely seems like an improvement. And longbows are uh, definitely an end game weapon in any sort of three rune run. Um, sure, it's only plus two, but freezing's not a bad brand either because it slows down to and on and stuff. So if I have to have this for the rest of the game, I'm happy with that.
But of course, if I do find something better, I'm also happy with that as well. Although, was that, a, that wasn't a brand up range, but it was. It was a flaming longbow. But it was only plus zero, so it's not even that good. And I'd rather have freezing than flaming at this point in the game anyway. In fact, with range weapons, I think freezing's just kind of a little bit better in general. I mean, I guess it depends where you are. Like, if you're going through the crypt or something, you might be a little bit better off with flaming or something. But it has the ability to slow like a bunch of creatures, which the fire can't do. Yeah, that's the whole blades. Let's just go downstairs. Oh, the faster attacks nice with the shield as well, because it means that uh, my turns are shorter, so my I don't hit the max blocks per turn as much, which actually can be a bit of a problem with the um the gog these days, because it's already it's still only like a kite shield, right? So it gets a lot less. Blocks per turn than a uh, tower shield would. Well, one less. I guess, I think, is it two or is it three? It might be three. Three blocks per turn, whereas a uh, tower shield would get four, I think. Yeah, tower shield gets four. And by jellies eating any good items? They did eat a plus two um, tower shield of cold resist. Which I was trying to get, but they haven't eaten too much. I think that's really the the only thing that I kind of wanted. They actually ate another tower shield as well. <laughs> They've been very hungry for the tower shields. Uh, I do it kind of even bad for me, really. It's like one percent or something. Hmm. Uh. Oh wait, what was on the ground here? So there's a chainmail dagger. Okay, I can leave that to the slime. Doesn't want to get uh, too overwhelmed by creatures here. Um, it's got Sega, two of his embrace. What was my armor? I know it's got harm on it. It's got regen, it's got cold resist. My armor's still like not terrible, but Sega, two of his embrace, I know it can be quite protective. Ooh, Zanata. Um, I don't have a vial of floods. Hold on, I'm gonna try bring it around the corner. Where's my? I gotta use a melee weapon, unfortunately, to slime fire creatures. But yeah, I really don't want it to bring out all the weapons and stuff. Our dead slime fight's been really good. Um, against uniques, I feel like I've slime fight a lot of uniques. Right, Sega 2 is not going to get eaten, thankfully. Uh, it, is, it is, in fact, an artifact. Oh, that we got. It's got the brooch of shielding with Spirit Guardian, 8 shield value. Um, I think with that shield of reflection, I mean, it's more shield value. Doesn't reflect things anymore. It's only like 3 more shield value, and I don't really feel like the Spirit Guardian... Actually, Spirit Guardian's kind of in my favor, isn't it? But only like, kinda. Also, I reckon if I haven't found a um, trope by now, these are kind of... Yeah, I don't need all those Demon Blades and stuff anymore. Uh, I don't need the Acid Resist, that's kind of silly. I don't think I need the Stealth. It's probably lots of silly stuff in here, like the Spirit Guardian. Um, probably don't need quite as many core resist rings, especially with that one sitting there. Oh, so many core resist rings. I've all got models of fire resist, okay, magic points, fire. I've got endless junk on me, no wonder I can't uh, pick this up. I mean, I guess I kind of had to have uh, multiple lots of junk on me um, to fill up my inventory. Given I'm not using the potions and scrolls. Alright, the slag there, but I feel like Dex is just kind of better at this point. I mean, I haven't actually confirmed that, but I feel like it would be pretty likely. Oh, it's resist electric plate armor. Mmm. <laughs> plate armor seems a bit heavy, but uh. Oh, man, maybe I could try it. 
Do I have anything else for resist electric? Got the arc blade still, of course. I mean, my strength is, what, 24, 26, I mean. Not like the worst thing ever. You know what? Uh, oh, what's that? No, it's plus zero longbow. I might try out the brooch and shielding for a while. I reckon the spirit guardian is not a negative thing right now. Um, I don't I actually don't really need that slay. It might feed into the slimes. I don't need the evasion. Do the protection. Uh, still got three protection for fire rings. Okay. The dex ring there. Do I have excessive numbers of those? I might not. I don't need the acrobat. That should be fine. Excellent, that's the three levels of the Elven Halls. I can just go straight to Zot now, I think. Oh, I'm gonna pick up this armor. I doubt I'm gonna be able to use it, but I'll, I'll take a look. Um, tag delay is 0. 0.7, which makes sense. Oh, 0. 0.9. There's no way I can use that. Um, 24 evasion. Wait, did that not destroy my evasion? Oh, 36. No, 32. That's actually not bad, it's only minus 8 evasion, but still. Man, that's not, the attack delay suffers so much. I mean, I could try, like, get some armor skill, but I don't know if I can, still don't know if I can make that work. Um. Hopefully the electric orbs are the problem, I don't know. Oh, these, uh, sped up electric guys, I might just... Ass of the walls, just in case. Do I dampen, I dampen the noise of the enemies attacking as well? Don't I, with the dampen the noise of my surroundings? I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's just me that I dampen the noise off. Alright, well, there's no magic mapping for me, obviously. Uh, I don't have to do, like, the entire level here, do I? Wait. Hold up. What? On Earth? I got all three staircases, which means these areas are already accessible probably th few through escape hatches or something. Wow, okay. Sometimes you do get uh, level generation like that where it's uh, already accessible through sec um, escape hatches. I mean, obviously, I'm a formstead, right? So I can dig in if I want to. I don't think there's any particular reason for me to head into there. A bit more XP would be better. I'm always level 25. I probably won't quite reach max level because I have a Jiva character. And they're always a bit shorter on the XP because they don't do the slime pits. Well, they do, but they don't kill anything. They just go and see their friends in the slime pits. All right, what's happening to me? Uh, got fire resist, which is nice. I got some more AC, I think, which is nice. Got the clarity of mind, got the decks. Devil's always my surroundings. Those are basically a perfect list of mutations for this character right now. Anyway, that's my third, uh, yeah, the only thing that made that better would be adding some resist electric. Hey, what is a Gibraltar? What how many Gibraltars I found? There must be three or something, right? One slime pits at the bottom, one down to level 40 and one right here, yeah. Because I did get one outside the slime pits, which was a little bit of a shame, but I got really lucky to just get one anyway. Um... Feels kind of weird having a, like a semi quiet gog because, um, yeah, the GM mutation is dampening the noise of my surroundings. I mean, it's kind of as noisy as like your average, um, medium loudness spell, something a bit like an iron try. Actually, maybe a bit louder. Especially this mark, I might go up. Oh. Whoops. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit drained of my max health, so I've got to get the electric dragon, which could be a problem. I think everything else here is fine. Good. Uh, can't be set berserk, thankfully. That's a nice, uh, formicid thing. Immune to the moths of wrath. 
I mean, obviously the other enemies here can be sent berserk, which could still be a problem. Oh, that's a bit of electrocution. I think I don't need to electric. Ah, uh, no, as by the walls, I think this will be fine. Right, so got the cloak of willpower still. I mean, I kind of could put that on if I wanted to, but I don't think it's the most beneficial. So the only way down is like an escape hatch. I might actually get myself a proper staircase. I know it drains my max health a little bit more, and I haven't quite recovered from the last time I trained that, but I still think it's worthwhile. And hey, there's the other escape hatch to like, uh, Go to the other area upstairs, which you can also see that that one is the escape hatch down as well. Yeah, such crazy level generation though. Uh, just go downstairs. Oh, you see glass walls? Is that not too vault diggable? Could be. Wait, this one? Yeah, you wanna... I don't think there's anything behind those, though. It's just water, but you couldn't see anything dig behind those glass walls. Uh, or are you talking about these ones here? I mean, I can see what's in here if you want. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Nothing. Alright, then. I guess that answers that question. So, unless it's like a lottery one and there's multiple and something that lead to a good spot. If I get mutated, I can't cure it up. Um, it's kind of sad. Oh, as if I the walls, at least. Uh, oh, body twists and forms, that's fine. Jeeva will slowly get rid of those negative mutations. But the minus armor, well, the armor fitting poly isn't the worst thing ever. So my armor is just like a robe or whatever. It barely matters. Uh... I like looking at this cast though. I pull it a bit closer and ask by the walls again because I can't lignify up. I can't drink potions. That's uh that's the challenge here. No, it's been really good just not picking up potions, because that's really helped me stick to the challenge. Um Alright, dodging improved. So Oh, I've got to try and get the invocations. I gotta try for the title. I'm just not sure I'm gonna make it anymore. Currently a hot plight. Yeah, it's a title I've had many times. Hey, I said no one. It's a gong. It's sure it's a gong. Yeah, although it's not as bad as it sounds because I got to passively dampen the noise of my surroundings. So it's actually a quiet gong. At least a moderate loudness gong. Um, of all things. I don't like to look at this curse so said everyone who's ever had a curse toe close enough. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine a curse toe would look pretty foul, right? It's like a seven undead toe. Uh that torments you. A really not a nice thing. Uh why well, do I have a limit of the implications? I just want to get that to twenty six point one. Or higher. It doesn't really matter if it gets higher. Okay. He's gonna radio me too much. So he's a brood mother. Hmm, probably fine. I just don't want to get confused by like the tyrant tellers and then not be able to cure it up. I mean, uh, I could cure it for a while, like in the early game when I was with uh, Leveland, but definitely can't anymore. I was disturbing on a similar level to a toenail golem. <laughs> I mean... If the toenails on the toenail golem are like clean toenails... It might not be too bad, it's still a pretty strange creature to be fighting. Um... <laughs> but it might not be quite as cursed as a cursed toe. Oh, it's just one of my own jellies. I have a uh, feeling it might be one of my own guys, but I wasn't sure. That dude doesn't seem to be able to open the door. 
It's probably the Quicksilver Dragon. Don't take those open doors. I love how I can't be slow by these uh, death toes, death cobs. That definitely makes my life better. Also, I think those Berserk uh, Lantern Dragons are actually not as bad as the non Berserk ones because their melee attacks are struggling to get through my shield and they can't breathe, I don't think, while Berserk. Well, they can't breathe their uh, electric breath. Presumably, they can still breathe normally. Oh, no, the Ring of Fire, no thanks. Got way too many of those. I don't have that many fingers or hands or whatever you put rings on in this game. Uh, I guess it's fine. I just came on standing in a spot where it could be tormented or something. Not tormented, damnation. Oh, by like acidic those guys. That's a little sort of melee attacks. Uh, armor fits poly on my pseudopods. So the armor fitting poly on my strange shape body doesn't matter because I already got the pseudopods. Um. Oh, I'm, like, cold resist right now. That doesn't do much. I still got the dex and the AC and the fire resist. Uh, and the... Ooh, am I noisy now? Yeah, uh, I think I'm noisy now. Oh, well. Shame, because I'm about to go on to Zod 5, where it'd be nice to be a little bit quieter. But, I, yeah, I think I got my noise back. That was a really handy mutation while it lasted, though. So... Oh, yeah, I'm really noisy. You can see my noise bar going, um, purple. I don't have any scrolls, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not using scrolls this run. So this is going to have to be me doing it unexplored. Hopefully these teleport traps, though, because those are actually kind of nice when you're a pharmacist, because you can hide behind them. <laughs> They're probably the only character I say, hopefully it's teleport traps. Mass of the walls. Good. I'm making such a lot of noise. Um, let me just retreat back a bit. Also, I should probably just exclude this up for now. Try and explore some of the rest of the level before I head on in there. Mm, I can see all the see all the guys running around there. Um. Well, how many of them are actually going to be able to make their way out, though? Because there's, like, the winding corridors and stuff. So probably not a lot of those enemies are going to make their way out of there. Oh, that traps are not what I want. Those are some of the worst traps. Um, There's a lob trap. Oh. All right. Oh, the net trap. I gotta go to the lob trap side. Hopefully I can get an enemy to step on it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's one of my dudes. Um... Ooh, ow. I'm going up. <laughs> I thought I might be able to kill that guy, but obviously that's uh, doing a bit too much to me. Are you surprised that there aren't potions of stasis so that everyone can be a pharmacist? <laughs> how good, that, like, how useful would a potion of stasis be? I know they used to be like items of stasis and people would carry one around before they wanted to get over the teleport traps and stuff. I don't know, it seems like it'd be a fairly niche item, but it could be alright. Uh. I guess some acid falls with all these ledges around. I'm sure that acid can't be very good for their bones. Um, which is exactly what I want. Yeah, mine, that was mine, good. More stuff behind here. Hmm. 
Might just back up a little bit. All right. Oh. Somebody's going to come around that corner. There we go. It's uh, minus portions. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that over fire. <laughs> Not like I'm carrying any of those ones anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, so far my mutations haven't really mattered. So that's been good at least. It pays you for being exploited by Rupert and slowed by various creatures. All right, because you could be paralyzed. It might not actually... Hmm. Yeah, potion of stasis actually would be interesting. Ooh, ow, this dude's electrocuting me. Oh, That's not the best I've heard of a fire. Gotta back up, try to read it a bit of health. Ah, it's still following me, isn't it? Nope, there we go. Lost track of it. Okay, um... Man, I'm only missing about 10 of my max health. My max health is never that huge, so... Unfortunately... Oh, I'm quite close. How much more do I need? Oh, maybe a bit more than I'm gonna get. I don't know, could I do, like, a little piece of crypt or something? Is that a terrible idea? Maybe. Feel stupid. Uh, oh, don't regenerate monsters nearby. Come on. I have so much regen, that's actually a bad thing. I don't know when I'll next get these recent. Oh, and I'm frail as well. Right, so now my mutations are beginning to become a little bit bad. Um, that's not actually working. Three ends as well? <laughs> okay. I, hmm. Oh, come on. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't, like, slime find the orbs of fire, which is why I'm not even trying. Um. Oh, three does not even, like, get drained. It's just drained by the mutation, I see. Uh. I just gotta shoot the statue down. There we go. I'm being particularly noisy right now, but my alarm trap would have brought out a lot of these guys, so. Maybe not too bad that I'm noisy. There's unlikely to be too much left in here. Uh, this looks like it's okay. Oh, I've got another, another one trying to sneak up on me. I don't want to be surrounded by these guys. Also that, hold on. I might just start the, can I just, what? Oh, these walls don't ooze them, Nancy. Because they're unnaturally rock hard walls, I guess. Hmm. That's, hmm. I might slide if I one of these two, but it's a bit of a complicated process when I have to switch weapons. Hey, final level, okay. Um, Dex or Red? Let's get some Dex. I don't think that it's a little bit hard for the end to get drained too much. Because it'll require a couple of mutations. And who needs to be smart, right? <laughs> when you can shoot guys with a bow? Uh... The orb run's always hard with these, uh, performances, but I'm pretty much ready for an orb run. How much more skill do I need? I need a good 3 more skill. Well, 2.4. I gotta go... I think I might do the Crypt. It's worried about, like, curse skills, but, uh, I can, like, slime fly them if I need to. But, of course, that requires me to actually be able to get next to them. Can Uzo man see the walls around them, and that's probably gonna be quite effective. Man, I don't like that minus three gem mutation. Uh, what is menace? Like, what sort of creature is he? Does it say? It's human size, medium, class, holy. Uh, that means it can't slide with five, doesn't it? Hmm.
I mean, I can always always immense. See, oh, I'm gonna have to always immense him. I think he noticed me. Uh, maybe he didn't. I think he's on the other side of that wall. <laughs> Man, that's a, so much of that damage is just not, not even real damage. Um, I think the flank goes just a little bit closer. All right. And he might want of light, I think. There we go. Got my health back. But I think, if, oh, my int's on two right now. Mm, it's probably fine. It's got a Uzo. Wait, wait, did I not Uzo Mancy? These walls is 10% failure because of my low piety, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's doing good damage to him. He's got a plus zero tower shield. Hmm. Right, so he's not too bad because he uh, can't resist the walls very well, which is great. These are not like a demon spot or a mummy because he can be a total end. Uh, run in there for those other characters if you're not really careful. Uh, even if you are really careful, sometimes you can still be a run in there if he gets you at a bad time. All right, how am I? Am my piety still going down, isn't it? Because <laughs> it's based on the expiration. So the more I explore, the more it goes up, but the more I use my god ability, the more it goes down. Do you have a party usually uh, fluctuates pretty quick, though? So. Um, yeah, when it does start coming back, it starts coming back pretty quick. Oh, something happened. Feel robust times four. Wow, okay. Oh, it's very from frail to uh, robust. Okay. Begin to regenerate. Nice. No longer feel heat resist, whatever. Feel less cold resist, whatever. Feel clever, that's nice. But man, times robust times four? That's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I've got almost 300 health. I went for like 200 health to 300 health. That's a curse girl, but unfortunately for her to decide to come around the corner next to me. Give, do you give me the juice? Definitely. No, this character's definitely been juiced up by that one. But the mutation actually does a really nice little reset. Um, how much more skill do I need? I need a good, uh, is it 1.4 now? Oh, it's getting better. Maybe, maybe one level more level to crypt? Oh. Oh, it's petrified upstairs. And no one can get to me. Uh, hey, Donald. How bad is he? Oh, he's got that reflection. I think he's bad enough to, like, slide and fight these walls. Just doesn't help my party out. Uh, probably don't actually need a shield, but oh well. Hmm, <laughs> it's a rather, rather open area there. Do I have a staircase that's somewhere a little bit less open? I mean, I don't think these walls are diggable, no. Oh, hey there, Marjorie. Um, what does she do? I know she does fire damage. I don't think she does much else. There's lots and lots of fire damage. She often has tough fire creatures with her, though. We'll see if she does this time or not. Also, party rank for dissolving anyway. Yeah, I mean, it might actually put me pretty much in the perfect spot for that. Let's see. Uh... Four. So I gotta have at least four pits of party. I've currently only got three. Oh, that could be a problem, couldn't it? Oh, there's a, there's a tough guy. I know these guys are tough. Sometimes. Not for this Garrett, apparently. Uh... Yeah, and I'm not going to gain any on the old run, right? Because it's based on exploration, and I'm not going to be exploring new territory in the old run. So I've got to get to four or five pubs again. Okay, back to four pubs, but... Hmm. I think I haven't got some of the other Jiva titles. I wanted to go with one of those instead. But they're not race-specific, so it's a little bit sadder if I end up going with a lower piety one. But hey, how many more uniques can there be, right? Surely not too many. I mean, it could still be Boris, I think. Uh, oh, there's a curse skull. Does it? 
Lighty Rod doesn't work very well, these guys, right? Um, there is basically everything. I feel like Light might do something, though. Probably can't blind it. Ooh, ow. Oh, I got a slime. Oh, I got a Uzo Mads hit. Ow. Oh, step back a bit. Oh, I got hit by another guy as well. Um, ow. Oh, this guy can hit me. Um, I don't think I can dig. Oh, I can dig through that one. How many runes are you going for? I was just going to go for the three, but I was um, trying to fix my title. But ow, I've got myself in trouble now. Uh, this does say I can dig through it, which is surprising. That only because I've Uzo Man seated? To me, there would be a dig very far. Um. Man, this is brutal. I'm going to try and dig. I'm back a little bit more health, but um, oh, I can't do some magic again when I've already got one going, can I? Is that this guy with the light? Try something. I also destroyed my party, but let's get upstairs and heal up a little bit. Oh, the one tile deck? Yeah. But that could actually be something that's interesting to know about that I can ooze about balls and dig through them where they can't otherwise be dug through. I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, to be perfectly honest. But clearly, I need to play more Jiva characters. Because there could be times where that's actually important. Is there a ghost in here? There is a ghost in here. There's Coop. W's ghost, a gargoyle fighter of Che. They only have 150 something health, they're not very healthy. Even less healthy than I was before I got the um robust. Oh man, still not quite there. I need another point four of a skill. I've been getting like one skill per level, so maybe this will work. I'm just worried about guys that can torment because I do still have the harm on, which is mildly questionable, but it's part of my armor. Um <laughs> Okay, so far not things at top edge. I only need point two of a skill more. So I don't think I actually finish the crypt. I think I leave as soon as I get my title. Um not diggable, alright. But it does seem to, doesn't seem to have anything to torment just yet. It does seem to be nicely split up in separate areas. I'm absorbing and... Alright, hopefully the party lasts. I'm actually kind of worried about that. Uh... I gotta give this a shot. Let's go to Zod 5. Just hoping I don't lose the party on the way over or something. Um... Wow, okay, I'm involved, so that makes sense. Can't shop myself here, also makes sense. Alright, let's go grab this Orbazon and get out of here. Angel's probably fine. Oh, I killed an eyeball, then the other one said friendly. Whoops, I should have just left in a second. And I would have uh, become a friend. Uh... Which staircase am I even after? I gotta remember I can like dig around if I need to. Okay. This isn't too bad just yet. What about on Dungeon Level 11? Uh, dissolving out is the crazy titles from Invocations? Yeah, so maxing out oh, well, Invocations is the highest um, skill while. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanna see. Um, while worshipping, uh... Okay. 
Jiva uh, yet. Um, uh, I got to chop myself back down, but I'm a bit worried about doing that. It takes a couple of turns to go off. Okay, two levels. Um, where does this pop up? All right, that's fine. Oh, it's right next to me. I'm ages from a staircase, aren't I? Does that bleg? It also has border devastation. I don't know about that. I think I actually shot myself back down, but this is not ideal. Um, oh, dropped three flaws? Man. Not making progress on this old run. Okay. So I know that this staircase leads right next to it. What about this one? Oh, that one does as well. Okay, where's my third one? It's rough. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to kill it, but I'd, I'd rather not. Oh, how fast is this one? Yeah, it's fast. All right, good. I get to escape up a bit higher. Let's keep it moving. Hopefully, I don't have to sharp myself down again because if I do, I might be sharpening back down to those guys. All right, we're making progress here. Maybe. Hey, I can see the exit. Come on, don't summon a pandemonium lot yet. I'm on the exit, let's get out of here! <laughs> oh, I did it. Nice. That character's actually pretty fun. It took me a long time to get a Formosith going, though. Like, Formosith tend to have a rough early game, but then they get really good when they get a really good shield. I actually feel like Gog was really good for that run. Um, especially when I made it sound... But that was no potion, no scrolls. I even got a gem because I got the one from the slime pits. That was a, that was a really fun game. <laughs> So that proves that you don't need potions, you don't need scrolls, you can still get a win. If, uh, even if it took me like 10 attempts or something. <laughs> but they're mainly early game deaths though, like if you look at these, these are all like 6th level, 7th level, 7th level, 7th level. Oh that one got to uh, 16th level, okay, that one wasn't a low level, that was a different thing. Um, oh the pseudo mummy, like a mummy ghoul. Well, it was kind of a pseudo mummy. It was like, there's certainly no potions. Don't think anyone gets no scrolls, do they? 